we have the distinct honor of having a tremendous artist with us tonight, Rabbi Yona Weinrub. I don't want to give it all away, and Rabbi Weinrub is going to share a little bit more about his art before. But one point that I want to bring out. A lot of art today is people taking what's sacred in society and tearing it down and making a mockery of it as a statement. Rabbi Weinrib does the exact opposite. Rabbi Weinrib takes what's sacred in the world, beautifies it, highlights it, and makes it something which is attractive for everybody to enjoy. After the program, after Rabbi Weinrib is finished, there'll be a time for everybody to go out and enjoy, peruse the art, purchase some art for your home. There's a variety of different pieces. The Kola does get a percentage of the sales, like we said before. But for now, I'd like to call upon Rabbi Weinrib to introduce his art. Tell us a little bit about what it is that he does. Rabbi Weinrib. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure being here in Minneapolis. Someone said, it's a small world. And I think in truth, it's really just very well run. You saw their presentation about Kenyan Masechta, and it's humbling to be here, to standing in front of an audience of people that are involved, committed to the community and the growth of Torah. The timing of the program when Rabbi Goldberger first spoke to me about when it would be taking place, it was a tight fit. A week from this Wednesday night, my son will be getting married, and the young lady to whom he'll be getting married is the daughter of Rabbi David Newman, the founder of the Kinema Sefter Project. It's a very well-run world. I come from a small Jewish enclave called Brooklyn on the East Coast, and we have our version of Yiddishkeit and Judaism, but truthfully, when I come to communities like this, I see the vibrancy, the passion about what we're all about. I'll share with you a brief message about the type of work that I'm doing, hopefully taking and elevating its illumination in every sense of the word, taking something not just with the gilding, as was done in the Middle Ages, but to illuminate to share, to teach, to elucidate the messages of Torah. What is Jewish art? How do we define Jewish artistry? Think about people who have been involved in the arts. Recently, an original of Picasso was sold for approximately $45 million. None of the work that we'll be selling tonight will be anywhere near that. Although the percentages of the Kolel would have been much more attractive as well. What is Jewish art? If a Native American creates a mezuzah, is that Jewish art? If a Hasidic Jew creates a still life, is that Jewish art? I think there's one more dimension that I'll explore to give us an understanding of what Jewish art is really all about. Think about the nations of the world, the cultures, the civilizations, the ones that are most involved in the world of art, drama, culture, and of course, the nation that will come to mind will be Greece. The Greeks were involved in art, culture, beauty, drama, the externals. And what was our holiday that most depicts the conflict of cultures? Hanukkah. It wasn't the struggle for the body of the Jew, it was a struggle for the soul. If they weren't out to kill us, they are out to take our values and make them Hellenized. But what was the difficulty we had with the art, the drama, the beauty, the culture that they envisioned? Think about the Torah. And the Torah has a statement, Zekeli v'anvehu, this is my God, and I will exalt him. What was the problem we had with, Jew with art? Think about the edifices throughout civilization, Jewish edifices, the Mishkan, the Tabernacle, the Holy Temple, gold, silver, magnificent tapestries. 
that was art in its highest form. So what was the struggle with the Greeks? Why did we understand that their vision of art and beauty couldn't be tolerated, but the beauty that we invested in our holy vessels, in the buildings, in the temples, was holy indeed. Ze keli ve'anvehu. This is my God, and I'll exalt him. Rashi, the commentator which was mentioned earlier, says, what does ve'anvehu mean? I'll exalt him. There are a few interpretations. I'll create the sanctuary, a repository for the divine presence. Another method of understanding is that beauty is called noi, beautification, nun vav yud. Noi is beauty from a Jewish perspective. Nun vav yud is the exact opposite letters of yavon, which is Greece, yud vav nun. The exact same letters in their verse form. And that's the difference. Yavon, the Yud, the Vav, and the Nun, in descending order, takes the beauty that God has given us, but it's descending. It's art for art's sake. There, in Judaism, there is no such thing as art for art's sake. It's exalted, it's uplifted, it's refined. And it's illuminating. Nun vav yud, the elevation of the art, take it to a higher form, for a higher purpose. Imagine a mezuzah encrusted with gold, silver, diamond, emeralds, $10,000 on the open market. And let me see the scroll inside it, says the potential buyer. And he opens the scroll of this $10,000 case in one part of one letter is missing. It's beautiful, but it's meaningless. Jewish art is art with a soul, with a passion, with the understanding that it's art, not for art's sake, but towards a higher purpose. I'll share with you outside, after the presentation, some of the work, what goes into it, but in fact I believe that everyone here is an artist. Everyone in their own right, is taking the raw materials that God has given them, the abilities, the talents, the blank form. It's the parent giving over to their child. It's the rabbeim, the teachers, who are taking students that perhaps hadn't had the opportunity to learn and infusing them with the breath of life, the passion for learning. It's the parent giving over to the child messages for living. It's art, but it's elevated. I've had the opportunity over the course of the many, many years that I've been fortunate to work in art, combining two loves, the love of art and the love of Torah. And the fusion of the two, perhaps, can be illuminating in many ways. I appreciate the opportunity to join Rabbi Goldberger, Rabbi Giver, the members of the community here in Minneapolis to share some of the messages about the art. I hope you'll have an opportunity to listen to it to share them with you outside. Thank you so much for listening. We should have a wonderful evening.